going on, y'all? Outlaw back here finally on Live the Thrill, my second channel. You know, it's been a while. Um, driving home now from a little surprise that I was blessed with today. And uh, I'll give you all a little sneak peek of them real quick and then once we get home here, you'll get a better look. Say hello. Just a good old boy. And his name is Outlaw. He likes to dip tobacco and make vids for all of y'all. Alright y'all. Look at that puppy. This, let me introduce to you, is Banjo. Oh, don't fall. Look at you, blend right in with my my black shorts. Look at you. This is Banjo, y'all. Um, first of all, oh, just hit you on the head with my camera. So, uh, I wanted to tell you all a little story of how this came about, getting this guy. Um, as some of you know, if you're watching this video and you don't know, uh, Bandit, my previous dog, passed away about two weeks ago. I am still, you know, dealing with that. And, uh, you know, that hurt a lot. It hurt really bad when that happened. Um, it was very traumatic. And it took me, you know, I'm still dealing with it, but, you know, for a good week and a half, I was... You know, I mean, I was really hurting, um, as you all probably saw from the video that I made, and uh, me not posting or nothing. It just fits in my eye. You can't even see him. He just blends in. Um. So, you know, these past few days have been really hard, and just you know, trying to you know move on and um and everything and uh. I was actually, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, you whining? You playing with Rosie? What are you doing? Okay. Just cuddle up now. Um. So, uh. I was making a, uh. I'm making a remembrance thing. A, a plaque. Not a plaque, but a. Got a picture for Bandit, and uh, I'm going to frame it and hang it up on my wall, and, uh, you know, kind of a rest in peace in remembrance of Bandit. And, uh, so, right whenever, uh, you know, it's only been two weeks, and, uh, I was actually trying to contact the original breeder of Bandit, the breeder who bred him. As you all know, Bandit was a purebred Border Collie. And I was trying to contact them, and I wasn't able to get through. I was trying to contact them to, you know, let them know kind of what happened, and also to see, you know, like what, uh, you know, what they had. They're a, they're a border collie breeder, and they bred, you know, all bandits, brothers and sisters, and everything like that. Um. So, anyways, I wasn't able to get a hold of them. Um, from what I know right now, they uh, closed shop down. I wasn't. They changed all their numbers, and uh, I even tried calling the ABCA, which is the American Border Collie Association, and I wasn't able to get through to them. Um, so, the main reason I was trying to contact them was because you know I was, you know, kind of just wanting to you know see what they had. You know, maybe be able down the road to. Um, kind of just see what kind of litters they were having to come up, you know, maybe down the road to maybe get Bandit's brother or something. And, uh, you know, just wasn't able to get in touch with them, and it just didn't look like they were breeding much anymore. But I wasn't really into getting a dog uh, right away. You know, I was... Um, I still really... It's kind of shocking to me that I have another one. Um, I was not into it at all but uh, just you know I wanted to wait a while 
you know, a few months and, you know, kind of get it out of my, get banded out of my system and, you know, I mean, he'll never be fully out of my system, but, uh, so this little guy came into my life because I got contacted from, uh, someone who, uh, was, who from, that knew that I was trying to, uh, contact my original breeder and apparently she knew them or whatever and she emailed me and, uh, said, you know, I've, apparently she found out what happened with Bandit and she saw my YouTube channel and she saw everything in my Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So, she gave me a number of a lady who was breeding and they just had a litter and, uh, she was telling me to contact these people. They have beautiful males. All of them were males and, you know, you need to contact this lady, you know, uh, she'd like to hear from you. So a couple days go by and I wasn't really going to contact her. I wasn't, you know, looking to get a puppy right away. But something just told me to call her and I looked into it a little bit and I found some pictures on her Facebook of them and, um, and stuff. So I ended up calling her just to see kind of what was going on. And after talking to a really nice lady and she said the whole litter was males. It was eight males in the entire litter, no females. And, um, she sent me a few pictures, and, uh, I asked them when they were born. And this, I don't know, you know, kind of just, it was almost like it was meant to be. And I asked them when they were born, and she said May 25th. And if you all don't know, that's my birthday. And, uh, so we have the same birthday. And, um, you know, I was kind of just really, you know, not really wanting to get anything at the time. And, uh, you know, she said, the birthdays are May 25th, you know, they're going fast, you know, I'd really like you to come check them out. So, I decided, okay, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to make a trip down there, and uh, or up there, it was up north a little bit, and I said, I'll go check them out, you know, and uh, we'll see. I went there without any money, I didn't have any money with me, I just wanted to go check them out. And, uh, she let the litter out of the cage, and, you know, I was playing with them a little bit, and I saw this guy right here and uh he was the loner of the bunch which bandit was also in his litter and uh i saw him playing by himself and all the other puppies were crazy they were jumping all over each other and stuff and i saw this little guy by himself and he reminded me a lot of bandit whenever i went and picked bandit out he was one of the first ones to come up to me and lick me and I saw a lot of bandit in him, and uh, yeah, I kind of fell in love with him right away. Uh, and uh, you know, he just reminded me a lot of bandit and his attitude and how he bandit bandit. Excuse me, my voice cracked. How bandit was when he was a baby. So I, I went. I mean, I it was something that just kept telling me, you know, I need to do this. You know, I need to do this. Um, and uh, and I did. And, uh, let me show you Banjo here. I named him Banjo. Um, you know, a lot of people were, uh, telling me, you know, I should name him Bandit. You know, or name my new dog Bandit just in remembrance of him. But I don't, you know, I don't want to call him Bandit. Um, you know, that's just, uh, you know, Bandit was Bandit. And this is a new chapter in my life, a new dog. And, uh named him Banjo, so B-A-N-J-O, Banjo, so it kind of has the whole bandit and banjo, so I like to think as these guys, as this is little bandit's little brother or something, you know, and, uh, and, uh, you know, he's a cutie, but I wanted to show you all a little, uh, close-up of him, as you can tell, he is a Border Collie, purebred Border Collie, and if you look at his face, you probably wouldn't even think he was Border Collie, so let me show you all, he's trying to sleep a little bit right here but hey banjo come here buddy show me your face show me your face you tired little pup so if you can tell look at his entire face is black now i being having border collies my entire life i have not seen this before 
uh, I, well, I've seen maybe a couple online, but I haven't seen any that were, like, entirely black faces. They always usually have a white stripe running up here, or brown on their eyebrows, or things like that. All of his brothers were tries. He was the only black and white of the bunch. Actually, I think there was one more black and white. Um, but he was the he was one of the only black and whites of the uh, bunch. The other, uh, his brothers were tries, which means they had a little bit of brown in them, too. And also saddlebacks to where they have a little brown up here. Um, but this little guy, he's got all black face and he's got a little, if you can tell right here, he's got a little bit of a white goatee. And uh, that stretches down. And with his white chest and uh, what arms going down. Got a little spotted belly. And uh, if you can tell on his uh, legs and feet, he's going to have spots on his feet. Uh, spots on his legs and things um, he has like three spots on each leg and stuff you can't really tell right now because he's a baby but uh you know he does and my favorite part is uh, usually they have a big ring around their neck uh, a white ring his is different and special he's got a black patch right there so it's just a black patch that's uh, that comes down into the neckline and I thought that was really unique and cool you don't see too many border collies like that. Most border collies are kind of, you know, the same looking. So, but um, yeah, he's a complete black-faced border collie, and then he's got his little white goatee down here. He's a tired. He's not putting on for the camera, but uh, you know, he's just a just a little cutie, and um, he's actually been really good. And uh, you know, this is the uh, the first you know day that I've had him here, and uh, you know, he's doing really well. Going to the bathroom outside and. Just uh, doing real well, and you know, I uh, looks like I'm raising another puppy, and raising a puppy is not easy. You know, always having to watch them and um, stuff, and cleaning up after them. So that was one thing going into it was like I'm I'm gonna have to raise another puppy, but uh, you know, when this little guy put a smile on my face, you know, it's I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna have a smile on my face when I do it so um first thing I did whenever we got home is I went to Bandit's grave with him and uh kind of you know tried to talk to Bandit a little bit you know like introduced them to each other and you know I know it might have not done much or whatever but it just felt good for me to do that um you know that to know that Bandit's always with us and uh you know, I, like I said, I kind of like to think as Banjo here as Bandit's little brother. And, uh, and, uh, you know, so that's kind of the dealio on that. Oh, also, when I'm talking to the camera, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I have a cracked tooth in the front. You might have uh, seen that in my main channel videos or even now me talking. Uh, I cracked the, my front tooth. It's kind of embarrassing to talk about a little bit, but, uh, the day before Bandit passed away, him and I were playing, and he jumped up and um, hit his... Uh, I can't remember what we were doing. I think we were. I was playing with him on the ground, and he jumped up, and his head hit me on the mouth, hit my tooth, and it kind of cracked the front of my tooth. And, uh, and it, like, the front of the tooth completely, like, just, like, chipped off. So I've got a dentist appointment tomorrow, and I'm getting that fixed. So kind of annoying to me whenever I watch myself edit, and I can see that, but... Uh, so I'd let you guys know so you don't have to ask in the comments. But um. So anyways, y'all, there is a uh, little Banjo, and we can welcome him to the family. And uh, Banjo, Banjo, look at me, buddy. Look at me, Banjo. Oh, just a little cutie. That is such a crazy-looking border collie, y'all. Blackhead. Blackhead. <laughs> it's crazy, but uh, just a little cutie. So welcome Banjo to the family, y'all, and... You know, uh, gonna have him on a lot more videos and stuff, and, um, you know, I just like to take this time, you know, that, uh, you know, I'm never gonna forget Bandit, and, uh, you know, miss Bandit every single day, and I wish Bandit was here today, um, but, uh, you know, life hits you in the face sometimes, so. I love you guys very much, thank you for all the support over the past few weeks with this, and, uh, you know. Welcome Banjo to the family, and uh, more videos to come with him, and uh, like I said, this is the first video on Live to Thrill in a while. 
We're going to have a lot more videos on here. I'm bringing back beer thoughts. I'm going to do an Outlaws Outhouse soon, a a answering y'all's questions. So we're going to be doing a lot more. And also stay tuned and subscribe to my main channel. More videos coming up on there every Monday and Thursday. So appreciate it, y'all. Uh, for Banjo and Outlaw, see y'all later. Always remember to live to make it a tea with my tongue. Thrill. Ha. See y'all later.